Hey everyone, today I'm going to reveal my first 3D scanner. So what's that? Well, just like a 2D scanner creates a digital image of paper, a 3D scanner creates a digital representation of an object. Why? So you can reproduce them with tools like a 3D printer or CNC machine. Sounds great, right? Buy one of something, scan it, make infinite copies, or get your whole body scanned like I did. But wait, there's a problem. All 3D scanners are bad. Yep, you heard me, all of them. Here's why. For about $180, an Ender Free 3D printer can produce strong, durable, and detailed objects. But the logical partner of a 3D printer, a 3D scanner that can reproduce that level of detail, causes 100 times that. Good design is cost effective design. Any tool chain where data input causes 100 times what data output does is in need of improvement. A paper printer and paper scanner cost nearly the same, and a paper scanner can usually capture more detail than the printer can reproduce. Not so with 3D scanners, they usually cost $1,000 to $50,000 and almost none will directly produce a usable, accurate 3D model. The raw data, the point cloud is applying its post-processing before it can be used. Artifacts have to be removed and the holes in the scan have to be closed. Most scanner companies just show you the end result after the model has been repaired and practically hand sculpted. Not the raw data. So now that you understand that 3D scanners are ridiculously expensive for what they actually do, when we do a review, we're not even hoping for good. We're looking for less bad than the competition. Today, I have a really interesting 3D scanner to try it out. Creality is always trying to bring new and innovative products to market and they asked me to evaluate the scanner and also to find out what you think. They are considering partnering with the manufacturer to distribute it overseas once it has been tweaked a bit, of course. I've already unboxed it. Let me show you how it worked. Okay, this is the scanner. Basically, it's just an Android tablet with a built-in projector and two cameras, that, which gives you everything you need to do a structural light scan. And I like it a lot because you don't need to plug in all the cables and maybe download a special software just for you know the scan this one just come with comes with a battery and if the battery runs out you just plug in the cable and charge it and you do everything on the tablet like you can you scan it you calibrate it it's pretty easy it's small it's self-detained it's portable and it runs android system on it i like it now i'm going to log in and it will automatically lock me in at first i was a little bit worried because i'm like i have to register and then i saw the cloud i'm like is this just a dumb tablet and they you have to download the you have to save the stuff and do everything in the cloud including the mesh but uh i you know tried it and it looks like just their surface just like google drive or dropbox it only saved the scan in it it helps you to move the scan from the tablet to the computer it doesn't do any meshing over there so it's option it's optional you you can use other service too that with that you don't need to worry about oh if the service goes down that you are stuck with this tablet it's terrible Okay, I'm going to calibrate the scan first. I'm going to click fix scan. Remember the turntable, every time if you move the turntable or the tripod, you have to recalibrate it again. And uh, the turntable connected with Bluetooth, so far I don't have any problems with it. It works great. So let's see what's, <sighs> let's calibrate it. Okay, start calibration.
calibration success. Okay, now I've got a bunch of models to scan. Let's see if it will pick it up. Let's see if it will work. Okay, let's start with this Q Shibuino. It's a little low, so I'm going to put maybe the tip as a base for it. Okay, now it looks about right. In the settings, I would want 12 wheel points so that it gives me, you know, every side of it. Okay, next, this skin is not bad, so I don't need to rescan it. And what do we scan next? In old time, this is our money in ancient times. If they got 3D scanner and 3D printer, they could have kind of a lot of money. Okay. It's a bit shiny. The surface is shiny. I don't know if I need to put some powder on or pink. Let's take a look. Let's give it. A, uh, let's uh, try it out. If it doesn't work, I have my powder. Okay, I, I like it so far. All the models is scanned, it's clear, it's clean, but I would like to flip it and let it scan the diff in different angles so that maybe later in the software I can merge them together. All right, next. <laughs> Not bad. I like how it looks here. It shows the details and stuff, but kind of shiny it's solid it doesn't have any it doesn't have any holes in it but just a bit shiny okay put some powder fortune girls Okay, next. So this is Guanyin. You probably see a lot of Chinese family has neither Guanyin or Buddha for them to pray every day. Um, this one definitely needs powder because compared to the money thing, the money thing has words on it and it's wrong and all that. But the words on the surface, they didn't cuff, cuff very deep and it's solid. This one is super solid. And the other one is look at the base, even though this one has a base, but it has a lot of pattern on it. Um, I think without powder, it will be, uh, there will be a lot of holes for me to fill in in the software. So, uh, uh, or maybe spray paint, but first let's try the easy way. Let's put some powder on it because we already know with 
powder Barbie looks better and the fortune god looks better probably work on Wang Ying too right <sighs> okay deep Looks good. I think we got it. This one, I see the base. It's clear and I can see the detail on Guan Ying. So I think I made a good choice to put the powder on it. Okay, now let's go to Wheel Enlist. So this are uh, all the file. I just scanned it. Now I'm going to click start and all the models are gonna... Uh, as far as I know, they're doing the meshing in the Android and then I download the scan from their uh, website and then I go to their software to do the meshing uh, to, you know, fix the model. But I will double check. I will double check for you. Let's see. Uh, let's select star, star, star. I'm going to download all of them. Okay, I scanned all the models and they are all in the cloud now and I am just having a ray outside and I'm going to show you how it works in their software. So this is their website, it's called InFly 3D. These are all the models I scanned. And let's go to their software. So now we are in the 3D model process. Here you can see model and click the down arrow button you can select from local models or cloud models and I just show you the uh, website you can download it from here but I think it would be faster if I you know use the cloud models in their software if I want to import it I just uh, select maybe the dog okay the dog first Okay, here's our doggy. Here's our Shibuino. As you can see, there are some holes on his face. I'm going to fix it. And at the back, there's the uh, like a piggy band. They have a hole for you to pick the corn in. So let's check out the bottom. The bottom is hollow, but it's not a problem because we can slice it off. And uh, let's try fill hole and see select by uh, surface by planar surface now I can knock see his eyes I mean yes it fill up the hole it fill the holes in his nose but uh, I can't knock see his eyes and also it seals the hole at the back so let's undo that Okay, on the top, the hole is filled. This is perfect. The curve and the butt. Also, it's, I mean, I'm not going to use it as a piggy bag. So it's, that's fine. They want to, they sealed it. Let's call it dock. Save it as a PLY file. Explore model success. Okay, let's click another model. And this time, as you know, yesterday I scanned uh, models from different angle. So, I am going to select um, this one, confirm. There are still some bits left, so I will tell you, I check. Yes, there are some bits left, but it's not easy to cut it from that angle. So, I'm going to, ro I'm going to rotate it again. And you can use the, you can zoom in and zoom out. And then you see this bit. Okay, I'm gonna clip. Clip it. If the arrow is down, it's gonna 
click the whole thing and just cancel and do it again. I want okay. okay. Like that, the little bits I don't want, and I still want to go a little bit deeper. Yeah, like this, right? So that it's cut, it's complete. Now it looks very smooth at the bottom. Although I took out a chunk of it, as I say, because I have another angle, so I will just merge it. So let me see if this one is all right. Um, yeah, let's so let's go to uh, let's save it before I merge it. I really want it to be better so that I could get a better result. So just like the last one, this one also have like a lot of pieces on the side and stuff. So of course, we need to take that out. Let's hit a line and see what happens. Okay, I really think the bottom still needs a bit of work. Okay, let's trim it. Okay, now let's fill hole and see what's going. What will happen? Okay. Ah, let's do it again. No, it's not good enough. It's bad. No. <sighs> it takes some practice, I guess. This video is sponsored by Creality 3D. Makers of the End of 3 3D printer. Check the description box for more info. Well, I put some hours in. Once I figure out how to use the marker tool to merge meshes, I got better results. I still only got printable models out of two of those scans. On the upside, the dimensional accuracy on the final 3D print is quite good. 0.2 or 0.1 millimeter. I would still consider it a sort of camera lucid, more of an artistic guide if you're already good at organic modeling. Okay, I put all the files I scanned at the link in the description box. At the moment, I don't have another 3D scanner to compare it with, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Would you buy this scanner? What would you consider a fair price? Let me know. I've got some ideas for projects I can do with this. So expect to see more of it. That's it for today. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.